Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to kind of switch things up. I was feeling the need to get back on camera and to do some readings where they're not just like all love based, but just kind of, you know, back to bare bone basic um, energies of what's going on and um, it just, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying, but <laughs> they're going to be astrology readings and I'm going to start off with Capricorn and this is going to be for the beginning of September so I'd say like the first two weeks of September okay so I'm going to pull two tarot cards and see what the overall energies for Capricorns are September 1st through the 14th I'd say okay so if you haven't already subscribed please join my channel if you're watching I'm a Capricorn sun and rising um I'm also very Scorpio dominant so I feel like I'm like half cap half Scorpio which it's kind of a lot, but um, anyway, so let's see what the overall energy is. I'm not going to um, do reversals here, right? So Capricorn Tarot Energies. I just want to get two cards for the overall energies. Page of Pentacles, which is good. I feel this is you guys, you know, starting a new beginning. Um, there's kind of an energy of like actually wanting to really set forth a plan in motion in a very speedy way with the knight of swords okay so uh gemini libra aquarius here but knight of swords is notoriously very um like rash and like rushes in and i feel with this page of pentacles it's like maybe you guys have an idea of something you want to really invest in financially or even a relationship or whatever but you're wanting to do it fast you want it to happen you feel sort of like impatient right now with this energy okay you want a new beginning i feel like and you i want a new life and i want it with you oh my god i can't think of where that song's from but i want a new life and i want it with you i've sang it before in a reading let's get another energy and four of swords but i feel like spirit is saying to kind of slow down before you make any slow down you crazy child you're so ambitious for a juvenile this is like take some mental breather before because you might be coming out of a space of like almost um what's the word i'm looking for like you're almost like rebelling against something that happened so your energy is almost like opposing something versus just being in that energy solely for itself okay so i'm gonna pull from this oracle of seven energies and see what other messages i get this is um colette baron reed her um, newest deck and i love it i haven't used it as much as i want to so i'm not going to be using any independent deck creators here i'm going to be using these um bigger named creators in this re these readings higher view okay number 41 and waking the lion okay so um something could have there's an owl here and a lion those could have a significant meaning to you something could have really triggered you guys to um either take the high road i feel like you're just deciding to rise above whatever has happened to you or um, has given you this new perspective, okay? And it's almost like this this fire within you is ignited. And it's like, if anyone knows a Capricorn, when there's a fire ignited in them, they are unstoppable. So I feel that's why you're in this like very fast paced energy of like, no, this has got to happen. Like, I finally see what I need to do. I want to set the mo set it in motion. It has to happen. I have to like experience it for it to be real. But you know, I feel like spirit is saying, slow down, you crazy child. Okay. It doesn't have to happen overnight just because it's not happening in this tangible space doesn't mean it's never going to happen. I feel like Capricorns, when they're not seeing tangible results, they get very worried. Okay. They feel like it's never going to happen, but I feel this is time to have more faith, to believe more in the unseen, okay? I want to pull from this Divine Feminine deck and see what other energies I've got here for Capricorn in these first couple weeks. I'm not... not really dressed for the occasion on my bottom but all right so let's see we've got the goddess of all that flows i am an ocean of creative energy i give birth to what exists within me so yeah i feel that um this is yamosa 
um, let things flow more, let things just happen. Don't try to be like that micromanaging Capricorn where you're just like making it happen because you might get be getting in the way of your own blessings if you try too much to force something, okay? You might be missing the higher view of maybe what you're experiencing. This downtime or this thing that you're going through may actually be bringing you to a higher level if you just allow things to flow more. The apostle to the apostles, Mary Magdalene, I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. So a lot of these things that you want to manifest in this tangible page of pentacles energy could be, you know, bringing you more into the earthly level when you're supposed to be more on the spiritual level. So that's why I feel like don't hinder your spiritual growth by trying to push things in the physical, okay? I want to pull one from this uh, white light oracle. I'm going to read from the book because these are very cryptic, these messages. and see what it says. Capricorn. For the beginning of September. I haven't used this deck much at all. See, I, have, I would have no idea if I didn't look at the book. It's number 32 and it's Lysaya of Pav Parvati. Okay. This may even look like some of you, I don't know. This uh, like feel like could be like literally an image that someone has. I really feel like I need to sneeze, but I don't have any tissues here. So, okay, let's see what it says. <coughs> Number 32 might resonate with you. Of course, I, I turn to page three thir the 333, which is like this number I keep being haunted by and seeing. There is a gentler way to proceed and obtain the same or even greater effect. Tame the wild and frenzied working of the mind by grounding yourself with beauty, pleasure, and grace. Violence and its negative effects shall be overcome and healed through feminine gentleness and inner spiritual strength. This oracle is a sign of great future happiness. Pavarti is the universal mother in her gentle aspect, although as with all mothers, her fierce side will emerge if it's needed to protect her children. She is beautiful and benevolent and evokes the qualities of love, connection, creativity, and devotion to a higher purpose. The divine goddess has many names, and Pavarti is also known as Jagatambe, uh, the mother of the universe. So connect consciously with your breath as you become fully present in the here. Now, as you breathe in, your awareness disconnects from your distractions around you. As you exhale, your awareness settles deeper within. Your awareness is like a white feather drifting through the air, going with the flow. All of these cards are coming together here. This card encompasses everything I've been saying, rocking ever so slightly to one side and then the other, it finally settles upon the inner bedrock of your being. For the spiritual benefit of all beings, I call upon the Divine Mother Pravarti for her blessings of spiritual grace, happiness, wisdom, and healing. May I recognize and embrace the gentlest path for effective healing and loving self-transformation. May the triple blessing of Trividivia grace my soul for the ultimate benefit. So this is that Four of Swords energy. This is like slowing down. This is like making it an easy transition if you guys are trying to force like a new beginning i getting the feeling you don't have to force anything you just have to be and let things kind of just gently fall into place here and be gentle with yourself and know that you're in a healing period most likely if you're tuning into this reading okay i'm going to use this star seed oracle and get another message here that was very beautiful though Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realm. Yeah, call on your spiritual team, your spiritual advisors, your spiritual beings supporting you. Not everything has to fall on your shoulders. You can lean on things in the universe. You're not alone to make decisions, to cultivate what you want. You are being supported, okay? So this is saying you have a council surrounding you. Whatever that is, maybe just even going out to nature will help you connect to that, okay? But you're not alone. You can do this. You are surrounded by support and you're being guided right now, okay? This is one of my favorite decks, the Star Temple Oracle. So I'm going to pull a card from that with a Soul Journey Lessons Oracle card. I actually didn't even get around to the Animal Magic cards that I wanted to pull, but... 
All right, let's see what this says. Now, I haven't been saying anything specific about love or anything. This is all however it relates to you, okay? So we've got Radiance, the morning star. I shoot for the star's radiance as my birthright. That's beautiful. Kind of reminds me of another Knight of Swords energy, though. That literally looks like a Knight of Swords. You could really be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine energy that's coming forward. And this could be another thing is that you might have someone coming in and they want to move things really fast. And maybe you want to, maybe you don't. But maybe if you need guidance around that, this is saying just keep looking to the universe and your spiritual connection. Keep meditating. Keep taking mental breathers and the answers will come to you. And then we have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So some of you guys might be experiencing envy. Some of you guys might be dealing with that. Okay, so not... All right, I am just going to pull and see what overall animal energy embodies Capricorn for the first two weeks of September. Otter, I love this energy, okay? I love otters. Some of you guys may resonate with that, the cuddling, the cuteness of otters, being in the water, okay? They're very playful, they're very loving, they're very affectionate. So let's see what it says about otters. There is always time for fun in my life. Otters love to play with reckless abandon, building water slides, frolicking with their young, and seeming to live a carefree existence. There will always be time to hunt and build a shelter, but these tasks can wait until after play. Otter teaches that life is much more than just work, so take the time to let go and have a good time when you feel that things are getting too serious. Dance, sing, paint, and engage in carefree fun to release your worries and fears. Play silly games with your friends and family to strengthen the bonds you share. Have fun with yourself to strengthen the bond with you. You are, after all, your own best friend and closest confidant. So some of you Capricorns may have felt like you um, you forgot even how to have joy. You forgot how to be lighthearted. It's very Capri hard for Capricorns to just experience life when they don't feel like things are going in the way they want or they expect it of themselves. And I feel like this is saying no matter what, you have to find time to raise your vibration through joy, okay? Cultivate joy in any way you can in your life, even if you're in a grieving period, even if things seem really heavy, even if you feel like there's so much on your plate, try to just, even if you can't find it in your current life, do some visualizations or of prior times you felt joy to raise your endorphins to get yourself in that higher, more lighthearted, carefree vibration just for your own like cells to rejuvenate and for you to feel more aligned with like your inner child, okay? All right, guys, so that is your Capricorn reading. I hope it helped you and resonated with you. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.